What is going on, my YouTube friends, all my Patreon friends, and all my angel friends? Let me get this thing out of my hand. How are we all doing today? We got a lot of special things going on. I'm about to watch a really special video that I'm behind on that Andy sent me as a request. Shout out to our friend Andy. And uh, AJ just announced that she's going to be performing in LA. Like, pff, first Vegas, now LA, man. Like, talk about going to the big, big sites in America. You know what I mean? <laughs> Super excited, y'all. Like, huge win, huge win. Let's hope that we get a project out by the end of the month, right? Of course, we're hoping for that. But that's that's when Grammy's cutoff is, right? I've just been following what everyone's been telling me. Y'all have been fantastic. So this is Princess of Ruins live in Vegas off of Big Angie Fan, off of um, James's channel, right? Right? And um, I'll have the link to it in the description box. Please go give him some love. Go show AJ some love. I've got all Angelina Jordan's links down there as well. Make sure you're double checking them. Make sure you're still subscribed to everything. We all know how the YouTube gods get from time to time. And uh, Andy also filled me in on the whole story, which I had heard like in parts. But for some reason, my like reading comprehension has been a little better lately. So it actually like he Andy writes really well too. Beautiful comment. Beautiful comment. Um, I used to work with a band that was endorsed by a group called Souls for Souls. And uh, they donated like tons and tons and tons of shoes to projects, you know, that would be inspired by like a similar story, right? So beautiful, beautiful story. Looking forward to this one. Let me stop talking, y'all. And let's check this out. I think I got it really loud in here from the last warning video I watched. So um, I'm going to be playing an unreleased song that I've never played before. Look at this dress. Uh, it's called Princes of Ruins. <laughs> about um, why I think their feet on the stage, as many of you guys uh, might know why I always sing their feet, uh -huh. uh, to give back to um, all children in need. Mm -hmm. um, and I will, I will always do that. I uh, stand by it. It's part of my identity. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, And the necklace too, man. Like that is a look. That is a, like, wow. Good for her, man. She's a very striking individual. As a performer, it's just super classy. Super, super, super classy. <laughs> Probably going to be a tough one. A heart of gold. The spirit in the soul, the people didn't care about her. It's age of hope. The stories that she told, the God is with no one to help her. I'm sorry, can we just talk about like the change in like richness from her speaking voice to her singing voice? Like, wow. I just want to hear like a couple words of her. Like giggling here, <laughs> being uncomfortable for a second, and then going into the singing because, like, wow. I didn't go back far enough. You heard it. You heard it. A heart of gold, the spirit in the soul, the people didn't care about her. It's age of hope. The stories that she told, the God is with no one to help her. They say it's true, you're left with nothing. Everything is everything. So I took all my shoes for her, cause there's something is always coming back to me. Did you say anything is everything? Like something we take for granted every single day, our shoes. We wear them probably more than we sleep in our beds. And that would just mean everything to some people in the world. Like, wow. What a lyric, y'all. It's It honestly scares me when people so young sing about things that are so heavy and so moving. You know what I mean? Like, in like an empath way, it scares the crap out of me. But I'm so glad that she's using her voice to talk about something like this. So I took all my shoes for her Cause there's something It's always coming back to me It's like I'm standing in the street In the hall with every When I talk my wildest dreams to you So 
Beautiful chorus, y'all. Beautiful chorus. It's got me in my, like, heavy in my thoughts. I'll save those thoughts for the end for anyone who's interested. But, like, beautiful, beautiful chorus. Her note selection and, like, the riffs and the melody that she wrote, too, is is equally as beautiful. Like, it's unique. It hits hard. And it gives enough space where everything is impactful still. Like, she's not over-singing anything. She's not over-delivering anything. She didn't overwrite anything. Like, wow, man. Wow. that pickup note it's it's not a pickup as a, a sense of timing it like has a lift to it beautiful beautiful You know, and like she really did something genius here writing this song, like the instrumental part of this song, the way that she did, because like this would line up on any of the radio stations that play around here, any of them, like it could be on a pop station, it could be on like a modern music station, it could be on an indie station, like it fits in and it would line up with any of the like bop songs that we hear, right? Um, like I'm, I'm imagining like some of the really celebrated vocalists like Adele, I think I've mentioned before in this, um, some of Gaga's work even, maybe not like the super dancey stuff, but it would fall in line with any of those playlists just fine. But it has such a good message, like such a solid meaning to it. And I think that's genius. Like, cause if you write a ballad, it can kind of only be played in certain scenarios and certain placements. Right. Um, and the ballad might be more like heart wrenching to like, just like the casual listener, like someone like passing by. But if it's a song that actually has like a, a groove to it, a bit of a pattern to it, and it's a little bit more up tempo, it'll reach a wider audience, in my opinion, my humble opinion, right? And it has a, like a stunning message, like genius, genius, y'all. 
I liked it a lot. You guys are the first to ever hear it, so. <laughs> yeah, that was a really nice one. That was a really nice one. I'm going to leave this up here because shout out to all of y'all, man. I recognize so many of these names on here. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> wow. Wow, man. Oh, Chris. Sorry. I said James Teal, but um, Chris Walker. My bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to get that wrong. Um, beautiful piece y'all very moving piece and you know when it comes to like your feet like she's constantly reminded of that story and it sounds like it gives her strength right because like whether it's cold whether the stage is like scalding hot the stage is scalding hot like you know you get a black stage and you're in the sun all day and you're standing on it like it's a constant reminder that there's folks that are not as fortunate and they still get through you know what I mean? So the story that it reminded me of, I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I went to Guatemala once and my spoiled dumbass <laughs> rent, like rented a kayak, right? Myself and my the person I was with. And um, I could not figure it out. I was slapping the water and yelling and screaming. I just like, I was getting so frustrated. And just off the lake that we were on, it was like in Flores, Guatemala, and there's a lake there. Um, there was like a house with, like the structure, there was beams like still holding up the house, basically no doors, no windows, just blankets and coverings, which you saw everywhere. Um, and these kids just playing with sticks in a fire. Like they would just light the stick on fire in the fire pit that was going on in the backyard and they'd put out in the water and they were just giggling and having such a good time. And I just realized like, I'm a spoiled douchebag. This is years ago. I hope I've evolved since then or grown since then. But in that, like my life changed in that moment. And I just went like, I should be appreciating like that, like the struggle that I'm experiencing right now is because like is worth appreciating. Right. And like, it, it's making me emotional just thinking about, and like, I think about that often, man. Like when I feel like I can't keep going, like I, that my work that I do, my part-time work I do with my dad is very labor intensive. And sometimes I just like want to stop. And I'm just like, man, like, why would I do that? Like, I'm blessed with the ability to do this as a form of providing for my family. I don't go to a nine to five. I don't go to some corporate. I don't go to some place that's unappreciative. I get to work with my dad in beautiful sceneries, building people's like landscaping is what we do. Mostly commercial, a little bit of personal, but like right now we're working on this lake, man. And I think about that often and just like really, really, really stripped a lot of my ego away. Yeah. This is a really good song y'all. This was really, really, really cool. I apologize, James, for getting that mixed up at the beginning. Or sorry, I, and Chris, both of y'all. Um, I have all Angelina Jordan's links, including this video, in the description box. Please go check them all out. And uh, catch you all in the next one. Thanks for the request, Andy. <laughs>